today on Writer Gadgets and Workflow, the Quirky. Listen, I'm back finally. Uh, I have been going through a little uh, bout of writer's block. So I have been stewing in my lack of productivity. <laughs> but I am back because I'm finally out of it. And I, in the next episode, I'm going to talk to you about how I work my way through the writer's block. But uh, first thing I'm going to talk about uh, is the, the Quirky keyboard because I know I've been promising you guys the Quirky. So here's what I got. I love this tool. Uh, as you as you guys know, um, this tool is, you know, it's unlike most of the tools. It really is just the keyboard. It's, it's, it's for typing. Pretty much that's it. But the, the gloriousness... You can hear that. The gloriousness of it is the sound. Oh my God. The MX Blue. I think this is MX Blue Cherry Keys. So, um, so you hear that clicky sound. So that is really the joy and wonder of the keyboard. But what I do have, I was able to find before I ever knew this channel existed, before I ever knew that I was going to be doing anything like this. I did an unboxing video for it. So, yes, it is uh, amateur before I was practiced and studied like I am now. And before my videos were so professional. You look, I can't even get through it without joking. <laughs> but anyway, so um, coming up is my unboxing of the Quirky and my oh so excitement and opening up that box the first time. All right, this is my first unboxing video and I am so excited. I am a writer, writer for life, and um, one of the things that I've really been wanting is um, a new keyboard. Not that I don't have enough, because I have plenty. Um, I have my uh, low free, which I was actually using last night, but I don't think it's gonna really take the place of what I have here. I have my Mac keyboard. I have two DOS keyboards that are mechanical with the cherry blue switches, but um, I really kind of wanted something fun, something that hopefully would give me a little energy and kind of get me out of this little creative slump I've been in lately. So I um, sprung for the 260 something dollars plus tax and I got the uh, Quirky Writer X. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna get it set up and um, we're gonna see how this works. Let me see how this feels. I'm excited. Okay, so uh, so this is the Quirky Writer. Here's the box. I haven't even opened it yet. I intentionally waited. I am not showing myself because um, I have not even... Uh, it's my birthday weekend. I'm resting, and I haven't even gotten up to do, um, like, my hair or anything. <laughs> and I'm not going to until I have to go back to work tomorrow. I'm unfortunately one of those writers that still needs to work a, a full-time job and write full-time on the other hours that I'm not working full-time. Okay, so here we go. We have the Quickie Writer. This is my first time seeing it live and in person. I'm so excited. Look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so here it is. Very well packaged. 
like this box is um, definitely makes you feel like you're kind of getting a quality um, quality uh, product. So, wow, this is really, I'm so excited. This is really nice. Um, so this is the keyboard. It is the Quirky S keyboard. It comes with the keyboard. It's wrapped in plastic. There's like a plastic cover there. Um, this comes in the box. We have our instruction, quick start instruction guide. And we have the micro USB cord. Okay. So, let's, um, and then this is the box. There's nothing else in here. It's just it's well packed in foam. Um, I found this sitting out front on my front, um, my front stoop today. Um, delivered by Amazon on a Sunday. So, very exciting. Okay. So, here is the Queer Key keyboard. Get this thing out of here. Oh, man. Let me tell you what I love about this so far. Is it's got, like, really good weight. Um, I've been seeing videos and people have been talking about, like, the great weight. But it's like, until you really feel this... Like you don't really get the full feel of it. Okay, so um, I'm removing the plastic cover. Can't wait to see how these keyboard, um, these keys. Oh gosh, that's a good feeling. Okay, and then I have um, the return lever. So from what I understand. Um, the return lever actually works as a enter key. It has the same function as an enter key, and that you can set the scroll bar here to actually scroll. But, but when you first set it up, it will uh, change the uh, volume. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, hook this up to my Mac. <clears throat> And just give it a shot. I do have uh, I have a PC downstairs. I have two PCs. I have an iMac and I have a MacBook. But uh, usually on weekends I try to stay out of my office downstairs, and so um, I usually use my MacBook here up in my bedroom. Okay, so here I do like this cord. So it's um, it's not like that rubber wire cord that usually comes on those micro things. This one, um, I know I have one that is in silver that I use as a regular uh, USB cord, and it helps actually protect the cord so it doesn't fray, um, like the uh, like the usual uh, Apple cords. Uh, for instance, the charge cord here on my um, iMac, I mean on my MacBook, um, these things fray. This is like my second or third power cord because it frays. This will not fray, so I like that they included this here. Okay, so let me hook this up. All right. see where everything is here uh, okay there's a power button on the side here power button right there and ah, the micro cord goes in here the micro side of it goes in here there we go that's wonderful and then the USB. Oops, it should be right here. Sorry. There we go. All right, now it's hooked up. Now I'm turning it on. Okay. And now I'm going to 
just put up a blank page. I've been working on editing today, which I will later, but I really just want to test this out and see how it um, see how it types. It will go a little less bright on the screen. Maybe you can see a little better. Yeah, that should help. All right, so and then I'm gonna do making a pink one, so you can see it on the screen here. All right, let's see how this does, how it feels. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay. That's easy enough. And I'm connected now. All right. Oh, look. Oh, just on freaking real oh I could type on this all day long this is awesome so I have been hearing a lot about like the keys and um, like the keys feeling cheap and they do not feel like this whole thing feels it feels like such a high quality product really like the highest quality product um, it definitely does not feel cheap. Um, it feels very well made. Like this is going to last for a really long time. And um, the other thing I wanted to do was try. I do have an, a small iPad. I'm planning. Oh, I'm planning to get a bigger iPad. So um, I'm going to hook up my iPad to this shortly. But this is very cool. Very, very cool. So, my verdict is this is awesome. And I am going to love typing on this keyboard. Cut, oh my goodness. Even, like, I feel it's more, I feel it's more accurate. Like, my typing is more accurate. Um, I was scared that it was going to be too small for my hands and I can tell you that I, my, everything feels perfectly positioned like it is the perfect size for my hands and I definitely feel like I'm typing more accurately than on the low free which to me is it feels way smaller it's probably not let me look but it feels smaller yeah, because, yeah, it feels small. Like, the keys are all kind of squished together. And uh, this one feels like there's separation. And I definitely like it. to that backspace positioning and stuff but no I love this I am I'm sold I'm glad I spent the money and I definitely feel like um, it's gonna not only excite me to write but it's gonna be more comfortable to write and then I'm gonna be able to write um, more accurately 
This is awesome. And I did learn to type first on a uh, keyboard. So, um, I mean, on a typewriter. So this definitely gives you feel. You don't have that same snap and pop that you do with the um, with the typewriter, but it is enough that you definitely feel the difference in the typing experience. I love this. I'm excited. Definitely get you one. The Quirky Writer S. Super easy. Obviously, it takes a second. But super easy to set up. Definitely high quality, good, solid feeling material. And um, the, the typing experience is unreal. Like, I wish I could buy this one, one of these for every writer I know. So, get you one. If you have the money, it's worth the money to spend if you are a writer and will be writing all the time. I definitely think that. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. And uh, I'll, I have so many more gadgets to show. So I will be uh, featuring more videos on my, um, on my channel. Thank you. And that is going to do it for the quirky video today. So thank you so much, guys, for listening, uh, for checking it out. Uh, please don't judge. <laughs> I know it's it was early on. I hadn't even been really watching a lot of unboxing videos at, at the time. So, yeah, it's kind of rough, but it's honest. It's honest. I was so excited. I love that tool. Anyway, so what I will say is, please, if you like the content in this channel, like and subscribe below if you have any questions about the tool that I can answer for you please ask in the comments I respond to all comments and um, stay tuned for my video coming up on writer's block and how to work your way through it and be productive in your writing workflow see you next time